Hello everyone, how are you guys? Um, I hope everyone will be um, very good in, at your home. Um, today I'm gonna share you some kind of information like uh, if you're in USA on uh, different kind of visas, I mean any kind of visa, like if you're a tourist, if you're B1, B2 visa, you're a businessman, if you're here for like three months, uh, how to buy a car. Basically the title of this uh, video is how to buy a car and how you can register to your own name. When I came here, like uh, before some months, you know, there is a, a very, very big issue of public transport. You know, if you have to move somewhere like uh, a five minute drive, if you move on public transport, that will take like maybe one hour, maybe a two hour, because public transport is not very good, like in these kind of cities, maybe New York and uh, LA and these kind of big cities, they have some public transport, but like Salt Lake City and the small cities, that's a very big issue. In fact, everyone have their own car, so therefore it's public transport is not very good. If there are some like uh, five people in, uh, in a home, so they have like five cars. So, so today I'll, I'll share you uh, some guidelines how you can buy a car. In fact, uh, you can buy a car for a dealer. You can move to some like uh, some dealer shop. You, you can buy. If you're a tourist, you can buy a car. And you can register that car to your own name. So uh, the big market in USA is you know marketplace on Facebook. If you are on Facebook, just find out uh, in a local marketplace you you can find a very good car. So I tried my best to move on the different shops to buy or um, different dealer shops. Um, but I, I work a lot on um, marketplace. And also marketplace is a very, very good um, opportunity to buy a lot of stuff, not only cars, you can buy a lot of stuff over there. So uh, I was just browsing every time marketplace and um, the one thing you have to find out that is clean title. If you are getting some car, you should you should work on clean title. Clean title means that that would be a damage. So if that is damaged and prepared from the insurance, so it will be like, um, it, it will be like, new title that will be not a clean title so you have to find like clean title card so it's my good luck I find a clean title card so uh, the second thing you have to find the low mileage if you are going to get get a good card that should be a low mileage card so the, these two things and then you know you have when, when you going to finalize that and you drive that you can know something like the motor I mean engine and the transmission so that that should be good other than you know tires and the small work so that's not a good uh, big issue but in USA you know uh, service is very costly if you're going to fix a small issue so you have to like uh, pay a lot of money in fact last time I got a minor issue in uh, in coil engine coil so that is you know I paid for three three hundred dollars and uh, he told me this is the last money so like 300 400 dollar you know it's a minor money if you have a minor problem in your car so uh, uh, try yourself uh, you know to get a good car uh, if you get the latest one if you can get new so that's not an issue you can get a new car and after buying the car what's the next step you know uh, you have to get an appointment uh, from the office where you can register the car I got an appointment for the next day, I went over there, you know, I was very confused what would be happen because I just came here and uh, I don't have a social security number so it would will, it will be a problem for me, you know, uh, because uh, in, in small countries, I'm not talking about my country, in different countries, you know, the people ask for the money, you know, to, uh, that pay us some money that then they can do. So I was very confused what would be happen over there, you know. Uh, I went over there at my appointment. I said I have an appointment uh, to register my car. So I went the inside and uh, you know I sat over there for like 15 minutes. So at that time they called my token number. Like uh, I was, I think like 572. So they called the 572. I went over the there's an counter and I said you know uh, I'm here uh, from last uh, three four days and I want to register my car on my, on my name. So. A lady is very polite lady was sitting over there you know she just asked uh, how much you pay for this car I, I tell her the amount and uh, she asked for my ID I gave my passport and it will take just three minutes you know in the three minutes 
she just registered and there was some kind of number plates so she asked me what kind of i mean which design you want number plate so i said my design there was snow design because utah is famous for the snow so i asked for the uh, snow design uh, number plates so in three minutes she gave me a new number plate she gave me a one paper that is not a title because title, after 15 days i received a title and my post box so it will take like uh, total it will take like 15 to 18 minutes to register my car on my number on my name so it's really surprising for me you know it's called as a system and so after 15 minutes i was owner of the car in the usa so the car was registered on my name so the, she gave me a number plate just i came outside and uh, i put the number plate in the back side in front there's, there's some token like one year registration uh, after one year, then I'll have to go back again for, for again registration for, not registration, I think that is a, a tax. So one time registration and you have to pay some tax. If you get like 3,000 car, uh, 3,000 amount, $3,000 uh, for a car. So you have to pay like, uh, I think it's, it will be like uh, $300. If you 300 or maybe 270, around 300 dollars, you can register your car with a one year tax. So it's much easy. Don't waste your time if you come here and you know uh, you want to move a different streets. You, you want if you're a tourist, definitely you have to go. So just buy your cars, much cheaper. You know, that's a very, 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 very good, you know, uh, very good way to move with the different streets. It's the easiest way, you know. So just buy your car. Register your car. If you have a driving license, it's very good. If you don't have, so try to get the international driving license. You can get international driving license too. You know, I have driving license of my country and international driving permit. So I came here and I just applied. I, uh, you know, I mentioned my driving license number of my home country. They gave me international license. So international license is valid like one year, two year, three, five years, up to five years, up to you. Uh, how much you pay for, for for that license so you can get international driving license and then you can get insurance too on that license it's a much typical but but you can get so that's not a, a tough job so this was uh, to, this, this this is the topic today so i was uh, in the opinion to share some information if you're in usa and don't be a panic how you can travel in the different areas just by your car is the easiest way how you can buy a car and how you register, so it, this is a process only. So, I hope that this, info, this information will be good for you guys if you are plan, if you have any plan to move over here in USA for some time or, or for any reason. So, they can help, this can be help you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, I hope um, you'll get good stuff. Thank you so much.